What's up, all you beautiful fuckers out there? Welcome to the Low Key Podcast, episode two. Seven. As always, uh, no, it's not seven. No. Oh. As always, we are joined no, with no, your no. boy JP, the host of the Low Key Podcast, and you got me, the fucking that fucking Hannah, and then we got the 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 Sid. We Sid, we shaved I down. To, I, immediately, I immediately wanted to say Sid Sid Biscuit. Yeah. I've gotten used to it. But now it's Sid There's Loki, no more biscuits. There's no biscuits. He matches the low-key podcast name. Look at that. He's cool. Maybe maybe it was because he couldn't get any gravy. Probably. Could you not get gravy, Tanner? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, Alright, I'm going to the corner. I'm going to the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah you go over there. The shame like... corner. The shame corner. <laughs> But uh, as you can see, we shaved off a couple of people because uh, they didn't make the cut. They were voted off the island. They, and, uh, they, yeah. they, they didn't survive their Hunger yes, Games. They didn't. But no, they, they just couldn't make it this episode. So we're here. It's just us three. We're, we're chilling. We're official. This is like... This is the the second episode of a podcast, or technically our third episode. Is kind of like the big showing of like yeah we're doing this there ain't no there ain't no quitting we're doing this yeah yeah i like, just yeah in all honesty like considering like i said you know we're we're small yes i mean very. i got 40 you got however many tanner has however many subs. tanner is the point being yeah the point being is like the podcast popped off yeah, like, I actually, like, I'm getting, like, 9, 10 views on each podcast episode so far. Like, and Ooh. that's fucking... That's like, pretty good for, like, yeah. a bunch of no-names having a podcast. <laughs> oh, that's depressing. No names. Well, I mean, not a lot of people know us. or technically, it is true. I mean, yeah. yes. We are very tiny babies. And for those podcasts to get that, like, the amount of, the, that amount of views, even though it's small... You know, for us being small, because people usually subscribe to us for the funny, funny times. But like having right. these like chill, like hour chill moments, people actually watching them. It's it's pretty epic. It really is. I, I honestly can't fathom. I, I don't I don't understand it. I'm happy about it. Yeah. I don't understand it. And we were jokingly saying about how these, how the podcasts would do better than our actual videos, and it kind of is for me right now. Yeah, it's, it, it's, the podcast was doing better than my recent video. I mean, I just uploaded today, but, yeah. you know. It was better than all my streams. It's, it did better than my dreams video. That's technically my first kind of fun touch back, but. Your dreams video was kind of funny, though. Yeah, well, for it being of just me, it was all right. Yeah, I, w I was very concerned about whatever that fucking black thing was. The with shadow the man. Eyes. That terrified the fuck out of me. Yeah, dude, I like like whenever I kept looking down, like not showing its face at that one part of the video, like I was genuinely terrified. I did not want to look at it, and I was like, oh, I'm streaming. People are watching. I have to like suck it up. <laughs> so. <I> just... <laughs> Stop being a little bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what happened. Um. So, are we are we allowed to talk about drama? We can talk podcast? about whatever we want. We can so... talk about it's our podcast. We talk about whatever we want. So, what so, what drama are you thinking of? So, so have y'all heard the drama about like H three H three and No Man? No Man. Gnome. Gnome. Tiny oh. Man. Um, oh, uh, uh, Keemstar? Keemstar, yeah. What happened there? I haven't heard of that at all. Okay, so H3H3, H3, um, out of nowhere, pretty much started going after Keemstar, made a whole video on Keemstar, basically bringing up all the bad shit that he's done in the past. Really? And uh, talking about, like, how can G Fuel sponsor him? And... Like, not too long after the video went up of that, G Fuel dropped him. Like, you can go on, like, the page right now. Are you serious? Face is there. His code is not working at all. 
Oh my and god. Then, and then Keemstar just made a video on him, I think it was today, or yesterday, one of those two, and Old Spice dropped H3H3. Are you serious? So, now, like, in the drama bullshit of, like, these big YouTubers, they're going after their sponsors now, which I thought that was pretty taboo, but, uh... That's kind of messed up. Not. Apparently it's not. Like, they're, they're going ham at each other right now. Yeah, why, that's... Like, I don't, I don't really watch H3H3 that much. I've, like, watched a couple of his podcasts, but, like... It seems like he just likes drama to me. Like, he likes being in the middle of drama. He, he, try, he tries to stay relevant by the drama. Because, like, K-pop Twitter hates him so much. Oh, <laughs> they death threat him God. all the time. It's so bad. And, like, I, I could care less if K-pop Twitter came after me or something for no reason. Because, I mean, K-poop, am I right, guys? But, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's it's just the K-pop okay, stands are so like not okay. I listen to some. I listen to I listen to some Blackpink, but that's it. And... Does Joji count? <laughs> so... I mean... <laughs> He's Japanese, you dummy. He does not count. Good point. Dude, uh, I like I would like those memes where that were like. When K-pop fans figure out that Joji was Filthy Frank, like... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> People, like, what are the... Zoomers are just figuring this shit out. Yeah. And they're like, oh, he's a racist, he's a bad person. But and why are you standing in his music? Like, you real, don't know about him. Like, the thing about this is, and this is, this is what I love about Joji. Joji was 100% like upfront. He made that like secret EP, and yeah. everyone fucking found out it was him. Yeah. And then he came out and was like, hey, I want to do this music thing. I don't want to do Filthy Frank anymore. I might do it occasionally, but music. Yeah, and like and he's not bad at music. Yeah. Everyone, all of his followers, supported him. Yeah, like, and he's not bad at music at all. Like, so, I have one of his songs, like, on my playlist. Yeah. Which one? Dude, I have... Run. That one no, is really playlist. good. Just, it's, it's a playlist I made, like, at the end of 2019. It's called 2020. Yeah. And then I have I another have... one that it's on. It's I have sad Run... Time. Uh, I have Run, Slow Dancing in the Dark. I have a lot of his songs on, like, my playlist. Yeah, I've been meaning to check out more of them, but, like, I mean, my, my like, sister listens to them, and, like, when she plays music in the car, I'll hear that and be like, oh, okay, he's out. good. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like Joji is, like, teenage girls right now wet dream of, like, how... In sync and Backstreet Boys were in like yeah. the early two thousands. And like Bieber, back Be then. Yes, yes. Yeah. But here's the thing: Joji's actually good. Yeah. I mean, Bieber's music was good. No. It just it was very no. cringy. Now it's cringy. No. no one, no one wants that yummy, yummy, yummy. Well, now, yeah, now his music isn't good. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't good to begin with. I think it was there was good. only like two songs that I actually liked by Bieber. He has one song that I like. What? Yes, two. All that matters. I've never heard of that one. It's probably because it's bad. <laughs> Mine was like no. the Mama Don't Like You or and she likes oh. everyone. That one what is so think? annoying. They played that they overplayed that one so much. It was one of the songs I knew how to play in guitar, and I loved it. I'm, I used to like him because he like made he had a couple songs with like he had a song with like Ludacris and a song with Big Sean. Those are good. Oh, and he had a song with. Uh, uh, oh my God, with, uh, that's Chance a name the Rapper. I haven't heard. Who? Who? Chance the Rapper is that who you said? Yes. Chance the Rapper okay. and Lil cool. Wayne. Cool. Okay. Can can we all agree? 
What? We all agree. Chance Rapper's old music is better than his new stuff. Oh, of course. Yeah. Okay, cool. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, I didn't even listen to his old music that much. But I listen to more of him now. But like he's, I mean, it, some of his new stuff's all right. Like he did a song with Ed Sheeran, and it was pretty good. He, like, it wasn't bad. That one hot, hot, shower hot shower one, that one was so stupid. It was so, <laughs> ins- I'm, I'm mad because it was like catchy. It got stuck in my head, and I was just like, oh real, god. Real clean, wash it down with the soap. <laughs> like what? <laughs> <laughs> and, like wasn't like the baby on that track, and then like a thirteen year old. Or, or a dude that sounded and looked like a 13 year old. Was it Justin Bieber? <laughs> no. <laughs> but, uh. I don't really like new rap that much, but I can support the baby a little bit. For. Like, he's doing things. I don't really listen to him. But he's, he's doing things. I. I just, I, I can't. Like, a lot of these, like, songs, at least that I hear of these new rappers, are just. Yeah. It's a whole bunch of auto tune. Alright, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> you never seen that video? What? Where Snoop Dogg's just like, man, you can't even understand these motherfuckers just. What? You know what? You know what? I'm gonna pull it up so you can hear this. I so I didn't good. know that was a thing. I know that freaking Soup Dog and Six Nine are having beef. It, I think it's so are. funny. Good, good, Snoop, please do the world a favor. Please. And please. I'm so mad that freaking Six Nine's that his new song. The beat is really good, so it's catchy. So it's gonna be something new. When, when a person decides to be themselves, they offer something no one else can be. Yeah, because once you be you, who, who could be you but you? Right. That's what's wrong right now. Everybody trying to rap the same style with the, uh, I don't know who created it, if it was Future or Migos, but all them niggas sound the same. Dude, this is why we love Snoop. Snoop is great. Snoop is, mmm. And it's so and, annoying because and, and, and he had and he had a, a B in his hand at the same time. Yeah. Really. Yeah. yeah. Nice. That's what he does. He gets on there, smokes a little, does a podcast. With a little. People. A little. For Snoop uh-huh. Dogg, it's a little. Okay. Yeah, okay. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> like, Fair enough. I'm I'm so mad because like all the people hating on Snoop Dogg now because of the six nine stuff are like Zoomers that. Or they don't even know like people don't even know Snoop Dogg did music and then like I saw that and I was like well, are you kidding me are you serious like one two three into the foe Snoop Doggy Dogg and Dr. Dre is at the dope yes yep. dude Jesus Christ half of 99% of people now don't even know who Dr. Dre is too which is blows my mind you say Dre and they're like oh beats yeah. You know what's funny? He made more money off beats than he ever did making music. That's Which true. Is, I mean, like, it's crazy, but bro, from a business aspect, like go him. Big brain. Big yeah. brain. Big brain. Like that was smart. Oh my god. Like, Since we're on the top, like the subject, like old rap and stuff like that, like. Like. Yeah, like, I mean, Biggie's birthday me wrong. was like yesterday. Was it? Yeah, he'd have been 48. Bro, like, real shit, I'm gonna tell y'all a story. Yeah? One time, like, I wasn't in a good mood. I don't know, I think I was like a junior in high school. So I posted on my Instagram some Biggie lyrics. You yeah. Know, just because I liked the lyrics that it was, not meaning anything. Yeah. And everybody hit me up was like, yo, are you all right? Like, you need someone to talk to? Nobody got the lyrics. Nobody knew that it was lyrics to a song. Are you serious? And, I will, and I'll tell you the lyrics, and you could probably understand why. Yeah. You know what? I'm, I'm going to look them up just so I, I don't get it wrong. Yeah. Okay, well, while you look that up. 
and everything. But fucking yeah, dude. Like, don't get me wrong. Some of the new rap, it's all right. Yeah, it's not that there, bad. There, there's some that do hit. There's some that do slap. Yeah. And I hate to say it, it's not all these mainstream rappers that are, I feel like, doing good. I mean, like, yeah, yeah they're making their money, but I feel like it's the you, quote unquote, YouTube rappers. The YouTube rap scene is insanely underrated because just it because is. so many people hate on it just because the word YouTube rapper. Like, it, I like the term. Like, YouTube, YouTube rap is. Kind of like how uh, uh, Logic and uh, a Token and stuff like that used to be, like, growing up. Yeah. Like, like you, you heard someone listen to Logic way back when. Same thing with Token. I mean, like, Token's still a little, eh. Not a lot of people listen to him. Yeah, Token's, um, token's alright. Um. But, like, you hear people listen to stuff like that or Crypt or... Sir Schizo, a.k.a. Chase. Yeah. You Chase know, is good. Chase is really good. So is Chris. I like Upchurch. Like What's up? I like Upchurch. Upchurch. Yeah, Upchurch isn't bad. I don't really like country, what like stuff like that, but he's not He's not bad at all. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's good. doing his country rap. It's good. Yeah. Like, I haven't heard his actual country album that he just released, but I've got these lyrics. He's a good up, singer. Want, want, yeah. All right, what's the lyrics? What's the lyrics? So... I want y'all want y'all to think about it like I had been like in a I had a very bad month, very bad year. Yeah. And this is what I posted on my Instagram and everybody hitting me up. It was when I die, fuck it, I want to go to hell because I'm a piece of shit. It ain't hard to fucking tell. Don't make sense going to heaven with the goody goodies. Dressed in white, I like black tims and black hoodies. God will probably have me on some real strict shit. No sleeping all day. No getting my dick licked. Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably message you about that too if I didn't know they were Biggie lyrics. But that's the thing. Like, me immediately, I was like, yeah, that's Biggie. Yeah. That's Biggie, I get it. I would have just spent Devin, that you're also 10 years me. older than all of us. That, oh, he's only 10 years older good than point. me. Good and point. And Galaxy, kind of. Good, good point. <laughs> thank thank always, you for pointing that out only... again. You're only four years older than me, bud. Don't worry. Yeah. yeah. A little boop on the nose. Yes. But I mean, like, like back to the YouTube rap thing. Like, I'm glad that a lot of these, uh, like a lot of these bigger artists, kind of like futuristic and uh, tech nine and stuff. They they're kind of like reaching in to the YouTube rappers a little bit and like showing them love and whatnot, which is really yeah. good. Well, futuristic is a YouTube rapper. Yeah, but like he's huge. Like futuristic yeah, is went, way bigger he main, than he went mainstream. Yeah, but he's still like really good. Like he's insanely good. And, like yeah. Mercules too. Mercules is a YouTube rapper, but like he got really big Mercules? as well. Yeah. I don't even know who that is. Yeah, mm. he's really good as well. Like he and he got really oh. big. He's on Tech Nine's album. Speaking of uh, like uh, big artists collabing with uh, YouTubers. Yeah. Uh, Offset collabing with KSI. Oh yeah, K Offset no. That track. I don't know. KSI did good on it. I just listened to it before this. KSI it did was... good. Offset was I very his, mumbly. I liked but his he did... last song he did. Yeah. I mean, Houdini. I like, here's my thing. I loved Offset's uh, portion of it. Yeah. KSI with his voice, the way how his voice is. He, um, yeah, he got energetic on that one. Yeah, it, it just to me, it doesn't fit his swagger. Like, yeah. him and his last song that he did was perfect. The Houdini, cause, yeah. Yeah, because his, uh, his fucking, um, his accent, you know, he, he was true to himself. Yeah. And that's what I like about an artist. Instead of like you know oldest, I mean like autotune is okay, I guess. Yeah. I mean it's kind of hard not to listen to any artist nowadays without autotune. Yeah. But you, it was very apparent that it yeah. was there. 
And I mean, like, GG to KSI, because he's had, like, these big people feature, and they haven't had, like, bad verses. They haven't had, like, phoned in verses at all. Rick Ross had a really good verse on that. Like, he had Rick Ross, Lil Baby was huge, and Lil Baby did pretty good on that song. Yeah, like, Lil Baby and, like, say whatever like, the hell he wants and he, he'll slap. No, he had Lil Pump on a song, and that was probably the best Lil Pump verse I've ever heard. And I haven't listened to a lot of Lil Pump his, at all. Uh, I don't like Lil Pump, but... Um, his, he, Lil Pump's verse on uh, Welcome to the Parties wasn't bad. I, I don't really listen to him. I just know he's Gucci Gang and bad. Well, well it's, it's also got uh, French Montana... And a couple, like someone else, but it's from yeah. uh, the second Deadpool movie. Oh, but yeah, like Gigi to KSI though, like he's he's doing things, and like in the first day of his album being released, it already had like a hundred million streams. Yeah, yeah, which is insane. Also, another kind of underrated one that I don't think fucking people are talking about and Mini Minter needs to make more music yeah Mini Minter wasn't bad on that last song helium oh my god the the helium effect kind of I don't know I I don't know how I was feeling about it It but he did good he did good I liked it speaking of minis Mini Lad needs to release his music yeah he he is soon he should be soon yeah yeah he he released an album with someone, was it last year? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, did he? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm like, uh. But yeah, and also GG to Crypt for getting on KSI's deluxe album. It should be coming in like June or something. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> here's my thing. Here's my thing when it comes to Crypt. Crypt. Is a is a good artist. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. At home, I can listen to him. Yeah. If in my, if I'm in my car, I'm going somewhere. I'm at a party. That's not something I'm bumping. That's not yeah. something. I don't I'm know. Be yeah. To. I don't know. Like a but I like a lot of his songs. Like his latest album with Joey Nato. That that was a really good album. See, yeah, I, I really still liked it. To it. It's really good. I just, I, I immediately am already in the aspect of like, I'm, I'm probably not gonna like it. Like I said, no offense to him, nah, dude, or anything else like that. Just, eh. Yeah. Nato, on the other hand, N- Nato is listen to really all good. Day. Nato is the white Will Smith. Honestly, honestly, <laughs> <laughs> man does not curse. Never That's, heard of it. No, dude, listen to the album. Something will catch you off guard, and it's so good. It is actually really good. Okay, I'll, I'll probably start listening to it after the it, podcast. It's, it's a song called Art. Just look out for that one, because, dude, like, it catches you off guard, but, it, like, after I heard it, I just, like, that song I had on repeat so much. But uh, oh but yeah, like God. Joey Nato is really good. He's really good at singing. He can rap really well. He's like he's a beat master, you know. Yes. He, he like has it all. <laughs> the only thing is like his music videos. His latest music videos with like Moxis, and like that Footsteps one that he did with Crip. Those are good music videos. Yeah. He just doesn't have. I don't. I don't think he has a lot, or as much as other people. Yeah. But, you know, for what he does, it's still good. Yeah. It's really good. Could could production value always be better? Yes, but that's yeah. in any, anything you do. Like, a video you do, you could be like, oh, I should have done this, or I could have done that, you know? A year from now, you're going to be like, ugh. Yeah, you like, video. I love my videos now, but, like, yeah, in, like, a year, I'm going to not like them at all. Exactly, <laughs> and that's... That's how I am. So, like, you know, just from, you know, not having as much money as, like, KSI or someone like that, you know, yeah. really big YouTuber that's been sitting on this shit forever. Yeah. To a guy that came up doing reaction videos to freaking BTS. 
Yeah, and like Joey Nod has been making music since like 2009 or 2011. Yeah. He's been yeah, like I, I looked on at the grind. Like, older fucking shit. Like I didn't recognize him with like kind of longish hair. Yeah. So. Uh, one yeah. thing before we get too like much further in, Tanner, how far are you? Like, how much are you into the whole YouTube rap scene? Like. Since we're talking a lot about it. To be honest, I've actually kind of gotten out of listening to rap. <clears throat> not as much what? as... Yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of like that for a while, too. I listened to a lot of, like, Hollywood and Dead and a lot more stuff like that instead like, of rap. Like, let, let me tell you, the, mo the most recent, recent artist that I've downloaded is Lund, Shine Down. Lund? Uh... Yeah, Lund. I know, yeah, I know who that is. Yeah, I yeah, I, I is. have uh, a couple of their songs. The Amenity Affliction, Slaves, The Who, and Five Finger Death Punch. I only know Five yeah. Finger Death Punch, The Who. No, 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 different, the different Who. Not H-W-O, the oh. H-U. They are um. Mongolian. And that shit slaps B. Yeah? Okay. Like... Like, y'all you, you, remember Papa Roach, so like, right? Yeah. Yes. So, so, The Who had this song, and they did, like, you know, they released the original song, and then they released a version. With, oh, oh, uh, I know exactly Jacoby what Shadows. you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. I, you told me about them. I looked them up, and I, I, like, listened to them for, like, a week straight. Bro, yeah. it slaps. It does. It's like, I'll, I'll play you a little bit, music. JJ. No, yeah. no, 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 copyright, copyright, no, 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 no. I listen, I listen to it after. I don't listen to it after. <laughs> All right. <laughs> save, save, the save me from the dispute. Save me from Wait, the... do, you, do you have, uh, you have iMusic or yeah. Apple Music? Yeah. Okay, I'll just, uh, I'll send you the, I'll, I'll send it to you in Messenger then. All right. But, uh, yeah, we've been a lot on music this episode, I guess. Like, that, like, the I'm down for it. Music, dude, music has been, a, like, my whole life almost. The arts in around. general was my whole life before I fucked up my hands, but, hey. Yeah. Yeah. Like, um, well. Okay, yeah, it's, yeah. Alright. I'll check it out it's after. Like, it's, it's kind of crazy, but as, like... I mean, me as, like, a young kid, my earliest memories was not, like, you know, uh, like, a, a lot of kids that were born at, around the time I was that, you know, their mom would pop in, like, a CD or cassette tape of Barney or, like, some ABC bullshit in the car and singing along to that. My mom, Rammstein, Metallica, Poison, Rats. Yeah. Please like, tell me you listen to Sting. Yes. Okay. Um, so, like, 80s, 80s, 90s rock is what I grew up on. Yeah. And then when my stepfather came into the picture is when I really got into hip-hop. Like, yeah. I knew nothing about hip-hop until I was about, like, 12, 13 years old. And then, like... Uh. Freaking Beastie Boys, Run DMC, NWA, Naughty by Nature, Ludacris, DMX. Dude, we're kind of the opposite there. Nothing I grew man. up, I grew up on rap and hip hop, mostly first, and then you, you wanna, went you more into like rock and on? stuff. Country. I grew up on Kiss, ACDC, oh. Aerosmith, fucking uh, what Bon Jovi. That's that's the stuff my dad used to play when we were in the car. Yeah. My the first concert I ever went to was an ACDC concert. Uh, nice. kind of an unpopular opinion. Don't say not it. A fan of Her not a fan of Aerosmith. Oh yeah, me Aerosmith. either. I was oh, about to say, okay, don't cool. you disrespect ACDC like that? I, no, yeah. I love Aerosmith. I am that person that like if we're huh? at a guitar shop. If we're at a mm -hmm. guitar shop and I see someone like just shredding on the guitar, play me, play me Thunderstruck, please, please. Got that ACDC, bud. 
That's his exactly. Speech. That's what I'm saying. You said Aerosmith. Did I? Yeah. Oh. You're good. Oh yeah, back in the, in the corner. corner. Back in the corner. <laughs> uh, on, on another on another note, I I just want to get this out here. Today was like a really good day for me, bro. Yeah. Like I got off work early. Nice. Two and a half hours early, exactly. Dang. Okay. The the stores in my city have started to trickle open. Uh, not the best idea, yeah, but very yeah, nice. Trickle open. Well, the county I'm in, we had like three cases Ooh. that are still active, so it's That's not bad. a big deal. We 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 didn't have many. We had maybe yeah. thirty five in total, and two deaths and. 30 of one of them have recovered. Bang. Okay. So it, 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 it's, it's not a big deal for us where we're at. But when I tell you I am a tall, skinny man and it is hard to find pants, <laughs> I tell you. Yeah. I am a tall, skinny man and it is hard to find pants. The waist is either too big or too small. But guess yeah. what? You found one just right. I found a 31 waist today. Look at you go, Tanner. Do you know how long I've been looking for a 31, 34? That, that, I, I don't know. How, how long? Years. Are you serious? <laughs> like, oh I, I'm wearing God. a pair of khaki pants. I'm wearing a pack, pair of khaki Levi's right now. Khaki 511 Levi's, which are the slim fit ones. Yeah. That are 31, 34. I have a pair in my closet that are 32, 34s that I've had for the past three years because I couldn't find the 31, 34. Well, look at that. You got you some 31, 34s. Speaking. Round of applause. And then, and then, and then I got fucking slim chickens for dinner. Had so many of the best hot wings I've ever had. <sighs> today was just your day. Dude, today was a good day. I got paid today. I did too. I, I freaking my work day today. <laughs> all my like almost all my coworkers are lazy, as crap, and I'm the only I'm like I'm one of the only ones that the guys. What is this? I forget. JJ's got like the far fucking uh thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh oh yeah. Were you guys like trying to hide on the sides of me or something? No, we were just coming up close. But I forget you got your zoom level up. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I'm gonna do that. You guys are just I'm vibing. Not that fucks my but, eyes so but, bad. Uh, yeah, like I, I almost didn't, like I almost barely stopped the second I got to work. I mean, the day flew by, so I mean that's good, I guess. Oh yeah, I don't but, like this. I like mine back. Yeah. At, I'm gonna put it back at sixty. Yeah, it's 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 weird to get used to, but yeah, like. If my job gets a chance, that will work me. Like, work me, work me. So that's always fun. Bro, but, I feel that. Yeah. It's because I'm, I'm a young boy that actually does his job. That will hop yeah. on that. Oh, yeah. They, that's, that's the thing about work, especially if it's not a salary job. Like, you got to put effort in the job, but you also got to act like you don't care. Yeah, Bro, but I mean, like, I, just how, how I salary. am. Huh? Yeah, I know salary things. Dude, never, never get, never get salary pay. Because then they're going to be like, okay, well, we're paying you for this for 40 hours a week, but we're going to have you work 80. Yeah. And you don't get overtime. Yeah. That, that's why I like my job, because I can stay over, like, like, I can clock in a little early or something, or clock in late. On accident, quote unquote, and get paid extra for it. So, yeah. well, I'm working 14s fun. next week. Oh my god! Good luck to you. Fuck me. I, so next Thanks. week's episode, next week's podcast episode, we'll probably not have Tanner in it, guys. Just, yeah, just well, a forewarning. No. Listen, listen. I get off at 8:30. <laughs> oh, but what? you'll be dead tired. I don't know if you'd want to. I don't wanna... care. I will be here. I am not missing. Oh, no. I mean, you don't have to join every single one. Yes, I do. I don't think, I, I don't think I've missed a podcast. It's been There's three episodes. There's been two other ones. Yeah. 
So technically, Tanner's been in every single episode because the other one was just like a test, like that episode zero. We were just trying to see how it'd go. Yeah. But yeah, GG to Tanner. He's been here. Yeah. Um. I think it's actually been chill. Yeah. Um. My uh my old man. Uh, contact to me today. Um, he he basically was like, "Hey Dev, uh, you, you're still coming over tomorrow, right? We're still gonna put the the headlights on the uh, Pacific." I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, yeah, we're still doing that." Um, he was like, "Well, so my neighbor, our neighbor, just told us their daughter is turning 11." Uh, tomorrow. Um, and yeah. she can't have a birthday party, but she loves cars. So, tomorrow we're gonna, uh, mine and dad's car group and a few other car groups, uh, nearby. We're gonna go through her neighborhood and, uh, rev our engines in front of her car. Uh, that way she can see cars and stuff like that. Nice. Look at that. Good guy, Devin. For once. Everybody, yeah. everybody, good guy, Devin. High five. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> Just, oh. yeah. How dare you break my light? I'm sorry. That is messed I'm up. I'm sorry. You said high five, but I looked up to give you a high <laughs> That's five. Like, I, I'm so it's a sorry. bit too high of a high five. <laughs> it's probably the highest I'll ever reach. But <laughs> <hey>. <laughs> well, I don't know. I actually didn't set a timer. So I don't know how long uh, we've been going I for. I didn't either. What time I know, did we start this? I'm, I think we started around 10, exactly. Uh, uh, you know what, here, I'll figure out what time the last message was sent. It's 10.47 now. Last message. We kind of we joked message around was sent for a little bit. At 9.53, and that was Jared. I think we've been going for at least 40 minutes. Yeah. Um. At least. So, okay. So, to end this out. Yeah. What have we been playing? What have we been playing? Stranded Deep. That's got my Twitch views, man. I got my average viewers and everything. Stranded Deep, man. That's the thing. And then Tanner. And his struggle. And Siege. We've been getting back into Siege. Which is we have cool. been getting back into Siege. Tanner, you want to you wanna gripe about your struggles? It happens, man. I just got lucky enough for people to like Stranded Deep. <laughs> okay. So, Stranded's heard it. All the friends have heard it. Multiple times. Yeah. So, basically, my PlayStation is a 500 gig release PlayStation. The very first one that they ever had. 500 gigs. Right. Yeah. And until this, until about, what, a month and a half ago, I only had 500 gigs, and then I finally bought an external hard drive. Big play. Call of Duty comes out. Modern Warfare. Yeah. Everybody's like, get it, get it, get it. I'm like, okay, I'll get it. I have no space to download it. So I have to delete, delete every game off of my system, except for Siege. And all the saved data for said games. Thinking, oh, I'll never play these. I don't play them that much. No big deal. So, uh, I get... And then I finally get the, the external hard drive. And I decide, I'm going to download pretty much every game that I've ever bought. Big so, play. a couple of days ago. I'd say about three four days ago. I decided I wanted to continue my Red Dead Redemption 2 story. Finish the game. 96% done with it. Yeah. Did you catch the part where I said I had to delete all the saved data? Dude. <laughs> you were so depressed about that. Like, I joined the party. Like, Jared, it was Jared and Tanner in the party. I joined. And Jared, yeah, get in the shame corner. Jared was just like, hey, what's up? I was like, hey, what's up, man? I was like, uh, is Tanner gone? He was like, uh, Tanner's a bit sad 
And I was like, uh, <laughs> why? And then he explained that he had to restart his Red Dead story. And I was just like, oh. Okay. Uh, love you, Tanner. I'm just gonna play Siege, I guess. And she was just sitting there <laughs> playing Red Dead. <laughs> so that was, that was that. Oh my god. That's the shittiest thing that could ever happen. It really is. Oh, I'm man. into new. I don't want to talk about it. It's okay, you don't have to talk about it. Well, I mean, for me, at least when it comes to gaming, I've I've been playing a few games yeah. as of late. I mean, but like, thoroughly enjoying it, I guess, like, on my own time. Like, I've been playing Diablo. Yeah. Like, I've been playing the fuck out of Diablo, and I forgot how much I love Diablo. Even though I hate Blizzard, but I love Diablo. Yeah. It's like that abusive relationship, like mentally abusive relationship that you're like, I don't want nothing to do with. Yeah. But you still go back to it because it's so good. The pain is so good. Yes. Diablo. Yeah. I mean, like, other than like oh. Siege and Stranded Deep, we finished Edith Finch recently. We, we which... did. That ending, this is going up before the last episode you did finish, so I don't really want to spoil anything, but that ending, I dude. Cried. Yeah, I like if, cried. if if I wasn't like if I was in that mood, I probably would have shed some tears. Like, I was teary eyed during that bullshit. Yeah. And then fucking coming back to fucking Galaxy be like, thank fucking god y'all are back. Y'all don't know what I've been through. Yeah, like it was such a beautiful ending, and then we had freaking Galaxy screaming because Jared. <laughs> Jared talking about the uns uns and not muting himself. Yeah. But, um, I guess but, since, like, we put a name on the wall last episode, we can put another name down. Yeah? Who's in. No. I, I, don't, I don't exactly know. I was just gonna put Soup's name down because I couldn't think of anybody, and Soup's not really here. On yet, she's gonna be a guest here eventually. But... This is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do. Yeah. The... All right. <laughs> Soup is like our dad. Never shows up. There we are. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna do something. Soup. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a name. Posting this. Are you gonna put a name down on the wall? I wanna put a name down on the wall. Put a name on we the have wall. terrible Tanner. Soup, come back, please. And what else? Oh yeah, we also have Wisebot over here. <laughs> That's perfect. Wisebot the, the shame man. corner. Yeah, Wisebot is the dude guy. He's amazing. But uh. Yeah, I get this was another episode. It wasn't like we talked a lot about music and then yeah. kind of just rambled on about being sad about life and Tanner's well, Red Dead. Yeah, I was going to say Tanner was big oofed. Yeah, but you guys had good days today. My day was a day. <laughs> Your day was but, a day. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that... I think we had a good episode there. We, I think people, we talked a little bit about drama too. Drama, a lot of drama and music related stuff. Yeah. Who, who we had? Who we and had? we we get clickbait. Fit. Fits. <laughs> <laughs> I know Devin doesn't speak of that name anymore. <laughs> okay, what a way to end the episode, guys. <laughs> <laughs> There goes Devin. Devin died in episode 3. Or episode 2. Oh yeah, Jared died in episode 1. Devin died in episode 2. Now it's just me and... I am resurrected. De oh, okay. He's... What? What was that? God dang it. You're supposed to be dead. You're voted off the island. Oh, Tanner's no. dead. Could you so... imagine putting it on survival and just... Just dead. Yeah. But, uh... 
yeah, I guess that's it for episode two, right? Are we good? Anything else you guys want to talk about? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, Tanner. Any anything you want to talk about, Tanner? Okay. Anyways, yeah. So, okay, you beautiful bastards, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, yes, sir. we will see you in next uh, week. Peace. Turn around. Oh!